Um, you don't have to. No, like, yeah, no, I, to I'm just kind of trying to yeah. clear my mind a little mm. bit before I start talking. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I guess like I mentioned earlier, um, I've been kind of internal with a lot of some spiritual things going on. Mm. When you see internal, can you describe a little bit? Like, not... not not in great detail. I just want to understand the word. I guess. I guess the only thing it's not is not really spoken. Ah, I so see. it's kind of like an inner work. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> but still, the inner work. What? What nature? So. Um. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Reflect here. Reflect. I think it's mm-hmm. kind of a maturing and a and a, a changing. Hmm. I think I'm I'm definitely changing in this time. I mean, we mm. we I mean we know we are. Give me a sample, if I can. I think in just the way that I think, oh, and the way nice. that I kind of yeah. perceive life, mm. Mm. the way that I look at others, especially people who are very familiar to me. Yeah. Um, I think I. I mean, because we know people for years. And then, yeah. like siblings and friends, I see. cousins, and we know. Yeah. We have these. We create these people of these people in our heads. Like we, we yeah. basically create the way we think about them through our familiarity with them. Mm-hmm. And I think that's changing mm. with me and other people. Just the way that I see them. Sure. Yeah. Um, that's good. Yeah. I it, it, and it's not. It's interesting because it's not even like I'm trying to particularly. Sure. It just has changed. Yeah, sure. And I've noticed that. I mean, even the last like two weeks, mm. oh, just wow. like. And I think it has to do with the way that I'm. I'm kind of just trying to change the way I think mm-hmm. in life, and because mm. there's a point in life where there are good changes, but there's also a point where you. You really need to change your mind. <clears throat> you really need to change the way you perceive things, perceive life. Because yeah. I mean, that's that's the only way, mm-hmm. kind of to mature, yes. I think, and yes. kind of to yes. gain wisdom. That's true. Yeah. In a way, and you only gain wisdom from true wisdom from the Lord and those who have mm-hmm. spoken to the Lord, and they give you that same wisdom. Yes. Um, and I think maybe that can be properly received when we. Change the way we think, mm. because I think probably see talking with yourself or others. Me, well, well, anyone but myself in this instance to receive okay. wisdom. Okay. Um, but that I think can apply to others too. Mm. But For sure. um, yeah, I um, I think, and besides that, just trying to think about you know who. Who I am concerning the place God has set me in. Mm-hmm. I think that's something Dad has talked to me and I'll mentioned see. to me, like who is God mm-hmm. and called you to be mm-hmm. right now and to do right now. Mm-hmm. And that's something I think about all the time, but it's kind of hard to mm-hmm. actually take action on that because <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so interesting because we can live life so like thinking we're going to do something and be something. Yeah. But then there's. The way you live your life that's the whole nother part of it you can think something and then yeah when you wake up the next morning what's the first thing you're doing when you get out of bed what are you thinking yeah what are you what are you doing like are you just mm. it's yeah i've just noticed how kind of difficult it is to actually mm. live something that you're that that you're mm-hmm. going for and that you're living towards and i think that's kind of a struggle I've been trying to go through mm. and the enemy's definitely thrown some you know rocks in that path mm. which is to be expected <laughs> mm. um, but I think I'm making some kind of progress yeah, yeah. and that um, I even just I think I, you I, are some potential progress you know so really- Right now, we carry the conversation itself. It's, it's a sign of the huge progress mm. you're making. So go ahead. So, mm. yes. I've even talked to 
Well, just the other day, since me and Nicole, I've been talking a little bit. I, mean, I just asked her how she was doing and mm-hmm. what the Lord's doing in her life. And yeah. uh, she said something pretty interesting. Um, let's see. <clears throat> she said, ask the Lord what I should share with you. And he said and that he's showing me that he sta- stated that he is not about what he's showing me. It's about what... He wants to show you. He said, there's a very particular way to function as a courier. He has called you as a courier of his word. His word made flesh, his word in the spirit and his word written form. Hmm. And he gave me a scripture for you to read to help process this way. Hmm. Psalms 26, hmm. TPT. And I did, I did read that. I mean, we might want to read it together again, hmm. but... In courier, I looked up definition. I mean, special messenger or some kind of messenger, mm-hmm. um, which seems from other things the Lord has shown me about my life mm-hmm. seems to apply pretty well as, you know, understanding his word and mm-hmm. a messenger, you know, maybe a, mm-hmm. of his word and his culture, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was pretty encouraging. To mm. just know that the Lord is kind of confirming mm. things like that mm. in my life. Yeah. Um, I think the, the the thing I'm trying to just understand is to how to do that in this time and how to how to um, start going for that and mm. acting according to that. Mm. Any you know things I have done. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think it's really learning to how to be led by the spirit. Mm-hmm. And I think I kind of practice that a little bit at night when I pray, because mm-hmm. I try to pray every, I mean, obviously every night sure. and every day. Sure. That's good. And, uh, it's interesting because the Lord usually, not every time, uh-huh. but a lot of the time the Lord will lead me to pray for somebody just as, as simple yeah. as that sounds. Yeah, yeah. It's such, it's not simple. So. Right, <laughs> but it's such a, a kind of a small level. I think that's the Lord kind of me practicing to be led by the Spirit to do something mm. and to pray for someone. And m- multiple times mm. when I pray for someone, the very next day, like mm. we'll be with the community and that, and then we'll pray, and then we'll all, and you'll be led to like all pray for that person. Like it's happened with. Oh, with okay. Andy, it's happened with Justin and oh, and, the, okay. and Nicole. People I've been led to pray for, like mm. one on a few weeks ago, I was praying for mm. Andy. I just it was on my heart to pray for him. Then the next yeah. day, he he gave his testimony. Like I didn't I didn't even know he was yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know he was doing that that day after. Yeah. And then another time I was praying for Justin, and then that Tuesday night we all mm. you know something pray over him, prayed yeah. over him and yeah. Caden too. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's been also encouraging to see the Lord mm-hmm. work in that and yeah. kind of, you know, show me that like I'm, I mean, obviously I believe. He's Lord. using you to pray for people, I believe. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. That's wonderful. Yeah. And it's, and I've also been trying to just be in the word more and, and read. Oh, yeah. So I do have like a reading time at oh, night yeah. before I go to bed. And I read some of the, the some I read first I read some of the poems from oh, that yeah. book and then I which book the poem book the, with the <laughs> translated oh okay yeah that that's a hobby okay you don't have to do it <laughs> well yeah you gave me the books you and you, like told, you told me to read them so uh, I I, 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 I said you got to read it I, I mean, will yeah take a lifetime to read it you don't have to be tomorrow so. <laughs> no I, no I enjoy it I like enjoy I like it, reading yeah. them. More is about learning Chinese, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and other than that, and also mm. after that, I. Spend, but those poems are beautiful. So. They are. They are really great. Mm. Um, I also, and then after that, I'd I'd spend some good time reading mm. the Bible. Um, mm. Right now, I've been <clears throat> just going through the epistles because I feel uh-huh. like that's something that's kind of. Uh-huh. Who's the epistles? Paul's. Paul's. Okay. Like Romans. Okay. Uh, yeah. Acts. Uh, like. The, like all the the latter, the letters written to the peoples. Yes, yes. Is is what I've been reading. I'm in Romans right now. Nice. Yeah. Um, you might want to grab a, I know your mom is going through 
Paul's life with the Kayla. <clears throat> you might grab a biography kind of book a Paul to read, you know. So, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. I think Noah actually has one. A Paul yeah. biography. I might try to see yeah. if I can get that from him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's been pretty interesting because Paul really gives um, really this kind of instruction to to the peoples of mm -hmm. kind of instructing them how to live their lives before God in a way. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's super specific to each person. It's kind of a Mm -hmm. like a broad way mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um and it's been really cool to to read that not just cool it's been kind of eye-opening life opening mm -hmm. to to actually see ways that you know a man of god such mm -hmm. as him was taught by god to teach others how to mm -hmm. live a life mm -hmm. that honors god you know yeah um and i think that's been kind of helping uh, uh, in a way as well mm -hmm. to for me to understand mm -hmm. um, how to live mm -hmm. in that way before God. Yeah. Um, and also maybe even to, to understand that way in a way so that I can teach that way. That's right. Yeah. Um, and I'm not there yet, but. <laughs> no, in the, you know, the, the car, the, there's no good soldier who don't want to be a general or something. Like yeah. So, yeah <laughs> so I, when yeah. I learn things, I wouldn't want to. Yeah, hey, I have to teach this thing maybe. So, mm. yeah. I mean, some serious topic, not not this topic topic. And so yeah, so I'm sure. Yeah. Most of the things, just curiosity, you don't want to want to teach it, but things like the Bible, things like culture, things like it. Uh, you want to invest in invest your heart in it and mm. make it useful for. Building others up in life, in the Lord, mm -hmm. then you wanted to teach in you know, this something in part. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm just encouraging you to think about the time. Amen. There's nothing wrong about it. No, this. I, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, That's very interesting on topic, thinking about it. You want to learn something, first, the best way to learn something is to learn how to teach mm -hmm. one thing. So. It actually teaches you really well. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the best way to learn. So. Yeah. Sometimes it's interesting because the other night on a, actually a brother's meeting, oh. um, it, it was weird. The I don't know if it was the Lord who had set it on my heart, but like I was kind of captivated, captivated by this thought of, you know, I just kind of saw myself t in a teaching setting. Oh, nice. And I've always thought about teaching the importance of words and of the, the power of words because, I don't know, <laughs> it's just it's so random. Words speech, I mean, so, yeah. It's, yeah. Okay. And just the, the mere power of our words and mm. our spoken yeah. to others. Yeah. I feel like that's something that's been very, actually, that's kind of a separate topic, that's but okay. it's, yeah, I, and I, I actually kind of taught myself <laughs> while even thinking of, about teaching others. Because mm -hmm. when you think in the context of teaching others, you want it to be as clear as possible mm -hmm. for, you know, most minds to understand it. And I think yeah. that kind of clears your own mind mm -hmm. in understanding something in the most simple way possible yeah. or practical way. Yeah. Um, kind of getting down to the basics of, Mm -hmm. things that you're thinking about um mm -hmm. yeah it's interesting how mm -hmm. you know teaching <clears throat> can be such a your dad is a wonderful teacher so yeah, mm -hmm. yeah and i think mm -hmm. but i think the concept of your words have power is something that that mm -hmm. dad mm -hmm. taught me and taught us mm -hmm. um nice. in my family so yeah yeah it does have power mm -hmm. the bible said life and death come out of the the tom, something right. Like that, right. He really likes the song by Toby Mac, "Speak Life." You know, I don't know if you know who that artist no. is. It's a it's, it's just a Christian artist, and he oh, has yeah. a song. That, you know, the basis is that it's "Speak Life." Yeah, it's his ringtone. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Uh, no. I'm going off topic. <laughs> no, you were talking about self reflection and mm -hmm. talking about treating people. 
not a familiar contest anymore to look at in the end with others. So mm. yeah, that's where we came from the conversation. So right, mm. yeah, yeah, and I think we can. I think that allows you to learn from others' lives too. Mm. Once they're not just my buddy or my friend, which they obviously there's they still are sure that, but yeah. it's not. You don't just see them in that context yeah. solely. Yeah. It's there's when there's kind of a when the familiarity is kind of stripped away in some ways, there's mm. basically like a renewal of that person when you're seeing them because they're not everyone is changing in this time and I'm ta- I'm ta- mostly talking about spiritually change. Yeah. I mean people change in life, yeah, sure. Yeah. But Spiritual, spiritually speaking, that that change is a sort of renewal, and you can see that and kind of learn uh, from that in other people's lives mm-hmm. as that's happening in their lives and your life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And when you're not just seeing them as your your friend or your cousin, mm-hmm. you know you're seeing them as someone growing, kind of in the same way you are. Because I mm-hmm. I feel like I'm in a similar place to people mm-hmm. like Isaac or Benji. Mm-hmm. Growing spiritually, yeah. and you know, there's a lot. Mm. The cats are fast. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. Go ahead. Yeah, definitely, and there's a lot to. Yeah, just a lot to learn, mm. and I I found the the importance of you know listening, and you know paying attention to what God is doing in others' lives is very. Mm very beneficial mm. to to hear about and talk about i see i mean ben, me and benji do that pretty regular mm. pretty frequently and that's very oh, nice yeah very encouraging mm. thing to see how mm. you know god's working in his life and then mm. i mean we both talk about even others lives and what's mm. going on in others and i see yeah, yeah it's mm. just things like that that are wow. i think even helping me grow as a person and a son absolutely yeah. um so yeah that's mm-hmm. that's a lot of what's <laughs> put on yeah, my heart recently yes. besides mm-hmm. you know just other yeah. daily things yeah yeah sometimes um your dad and i had those conversations as well mm. and it, what god doing what god doing with the community mm. how we discharge ourselves as leadership so yeah mm. <clears throat> yeah the purpose, as you said, is, is to give life and right? to build up things so, yeah. to prevent all the sudden things not helpful, mm. not non healthy even so yeah. Mm. So and mm. those conversations were were I think were much of the essence of the true fellowship, you know, so you know, right. so, yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Go ahead. Nah, that's mm. that's that's most of what I have mm. on my heart. So, oh yeah, so the 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 topic has been you talking about the internal whatever. So mm. yeah. Mm. Do you have any question, reflection, other than the eternalizing, the spiritual walk, making progress in things? So. Mm-hmm. No pressure. Just no. I, yeah, I'm just yeah. trying to reflect over some things. Mm. Uh, if I could ask, what, what mm-hmm. do you, how do you think, um, hmm, I don't know how to word this. Sorry. No. I have a hard time doing things yeah. sometimes. Yeah. I guess the only way I could put it is like, how do you, how do you handle trying to, I mean, it's kind of something I was talking about a minute ago. Like, how do you, like, we, we live life in a lot of ways thinking in context of what the Lord has called us to do. Mm. 
how do we take physical action in daily life to do it, to to do those those things? Wow, this is a little of a lesson that Taylor Prince teaching on about the deep practice of faith. He has a wonderful statement said, almost like when you when you try to help God to accomplish the thing toward concerning you, he said, God help you. <laughs> but he was using Ishmael and Ozzy as a good example. So, right. you know, Isaac, Isaac, you know, so mm. promise song. I think most of the things, I'm not denying young people you need to pursue mm-hmm. the coursing of life, the future of life. But, but I think that's a mode of uh, people of the world do it. Mm. When that sounds a worry, discouraging, man. <laughs> but like you bad beating almost. <laughs> uh, you know, when we are young, or in general, man of the world, uh, it's, uh, it's like a ball. You know, like you have to push it down, you know. Mm. So it's not basically not really yielded. I always want to do the own thing, so to be the own person. Mm. That's not bad. And you know, not not always bad. God used it. I'm reminded when I was young, God used that tremendously because that's my tendency. Mm. I'm a person a lot of <clears throat> not ambition, ambition, like ambition, you know, people ambitious try to be some of them I so right. but I was ambitious in a way that I wanted to, to not let my life be wasted. Right. I want to be, I think that's your desire as well. So it's a noble desire, it's not bad. So, mm-hmm. yeah. But, um, but then curiosity or ambitious way of thinking, the word ambitious is a little bit difficult. Like, uh, because I don't have ambition, you know, so not ambition. Just don't want my life to be and on the shelf, right? So you mm-hmm. want to be part of something. You want to do something with your life. So mm-hmm. much like entrepreneurship, and I'm not really. So that's wrong word. I like the winter, you know. Mm-hmm. So I like I like it. I don't really care what happened to me personally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like to be something important you know so sure. real life being being accomplished something this you know so mm-hmm. so um i don't know i'm just excited about that all the time you know what it's down so mm. and uh, that was encouraged by society by my brain so you know so mm. i mean I, i'm i'm not an ambitious person but it I'm pretty capable mm. in certain ways, intellectually at least. Mm-hmm. So one, one of the things unhealthy in normal course of life is when you are capable intellectually, people think you're up to something. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, that was me, so. <laughs> which, which I am good at with doing things. So, yeah. you know. <clears throat> but that said, of course, you know, it's like. A, Tether towards a place of um, success, you know. So mm. try to climb some kind of lander mm-hmm. in the mind. It's not necessarily corporate lander, corporate lander is part of my life, but it's more like a social lander. You know, life progress is supposed to do better, better. You know. So, right. Yeah. So it was a pretty cantered education, working culture that we have brought up candor to that expectation. I don't even know when I sign on to it. Mm. So it was unconsciously sign on it. Mm. I mean education tell you to do that, you know. Working environment tell you to do that. Everybody look at you from those point of view, you know, so right. or you get it promoted, you know, so what mm. well, next thing you end up getting all well, so mm. you know, so um uh, um yeah, I want to explain to you. Only even turn to the Lord later years, I still have that drive. 
that tendency. Hmm. Not actually, we're we're much was there with me because I was homeless because I don't have anything to show, you know, in her life. Sure. Yeah. So I want to be something. This time it's not for work, for myself, or so that one for God, am I? <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. And uh, well, nobody's saying it's wrong, you know. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Except there was always a conflict. I said, no, it's not about that, you know. So mm-hmm. uh, I don't know how to explain it. So I remember sometimes God teaches us we don't listen. So mm-hmm. it's like fly lower to talk. One of the things teaches teaching the world early days. I mean, before I knew the Lord Himself, the first set of teaching, or not teaching the Lord. I think the Father talked to me directly. Mm-hmm. Is do not worry about tomorrow. You know, <laughs> we're wearing the dress, we're gonna eat. And uh, mm. he directly told me that. Mm. He said, your future is, is, is in my hand. You know, so you think you can twist it, it actually is not. So he tried to almost like a reason with me. For example, he encouraged me treat a homeless experience as a vacation, and I said, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I said, that's no vacation, man, I'm tortured here. So, <laughs> so this kind of a thinking is literally yeah. this conflict, right? So, yeah. I mean, I can't even afford the next meal with where I'm living, so you, that's no vacation, you know, so. Sure. But look at that right now, that's definitely a vacation, you know, so. Mm. But it's the vacation is the best university that I went to. Mm-hmm. I like all sincerity, I say that. So, mm-hmm. the first thing is unlearn. The thing I learn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, that's, mm-hmm. so that's a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> so, unless I become homeless, I don't know how to learn, or learn it. Because most of the people in the world is build their life, the identity, their perceptions, the will of interaction based on the thing they learned. Sure. Um, you take that into deep stuck. Mm. Yeah. We all think we are our own self. We're not. You know, so the, the, let me just give you one example. The, this there's a person named Jordan Peterson. I mentioned the name because as a man hear this message is he was talking about, you know, the deep thinker is not welcome by the world, basically. You know, he considered himself a really deep thinker. The <laughs> uh, deep thinker, you don't care about the world. <laughs> if you care about the world, well thank you, not deep thinker. Is that making sense to you? By definition not deep thinker. Because the deeper thinker understand your relation to the world, there's a fundamental settled. You don't seek an audience. You don't seek the attention of the world. You don't seek. You don't value or balance your life value and and uh, existence, the meaningfulness of your life, based on how the world treats you. Mm-hmm. Deep thinker knows God. You know, if God tell you to cook a meal for somebody, it's more meaningful than I kind of with a fist people throw a party to me. Right. Mm. Why? Because see, I just cook some rice for somebody. We're playing, you know. So, but God told me to do it. I'm doing this in the will of God. So. A bigger fist when somebody wants to try to to appeal to our vanity or just give a good time, am right? So yeah. But God is often out of the window, am right? So, you know? mm. Why you spend time like that? So mm. it's not in the design, so so a method a, a deep thinker now will say that sounds very good. But who is audience? Mm. You know, so I mean, you don't complain anymore. So, well, the the problem is that we have a culture, or when you are young, we 
answers to be received by people, appreciated by people, approved by people. I'm not saying it's bad, I get it all the time. It depends on the people you talk to. Mm. Yeah. I think one of the admirable thing about you, not try to force the compliment, you know, Keynes is saying that you obviously want the kind of right people to have a, 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 a impact on your life, you know, mm. so you pay very less attention to people that doesn't really matter. I'm not saying that the two no, I definitely understand what you're saying. people, yeah, so, in your life, I'm just saying, so, mm -hmm. you, you appeal to the people matter to your heart, matter to the Lord, right. for their approval. That's a good thing. You know, so, for your dad, for me, for mm -hmm. others. That's nothing wrong about that. Mm -hmm. That's an admirable thing. That's a beautiful thing. Now, for sure, you don't want any man in the world to don't appreciate you, don't support you, don't have the goodwill towards you, or even the eventually the will of God mm. for your life in the center of the concern for mm -hmm. you. To to say I need to do, care about their approval. Mm. So yeah. That's our Lord's life. He's seeking what? He don't seek man's approval, he's seeking one person for that is Heavenly Father. Explicit about that, see? They encourage us other to do the same. Mm. Now, I digress. So, no worry about tomorrow. Then how you live your life? In the beginning, I just fly over my top. I thought I'm not doing it. Yeah, because I'm not doing it on the surface. I, mean, so, <laughs> I don't care where I live. I don't care what I do. I don't care anything. You know, so right. I, I don't make a decision for myself even so. Mm. But. There's also, even in that, there is a desire to be someone. Does that make sense to you? you know, so, uh, be someone. And that was, um, that was an interesting thing. Mm. So, recent years, um, no, God shifted, you know, he grew, as you said, progressive, mature us, whatever. Mm. So. I, I'm more thinking about God said that he he's who he is. I'm, I'm who I am. Mm. So the being and doing is always a topic in <laughs> philosophy in, in Christian work as well. Mm. I think Elijah eventually will come to a place you don't really matter what you do in the world. It doesn't matter what the relation actually carries. That sounds very arrogant, very dis dis <laughs> discouraging for when we think about. It. Has to do with you have God in us, so, mm. and if you can leave that out, that's my struggle. Mm. So my struggle is that <clears throat> my flesh or my <clears throat> wordiness still entangles me. So, you know, so, mm. yeah. And God wants to be like his son, you know, so. His son has a very terrible life, I'm mean, thinking about it in an orderly way. Go to the cross, mm. you know, crucified as a criminal. I mean, gathers, yeah, and have a great movement, stir up the whole nation, but eventually everybody abandoned him. So, I know I don't want to hear about that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> my mother don't understand me. My brother sister don't understand me. That's that's terrible. You know, when I was young, my family don't understand me all the time. They always think I'm a weird little bit. So they would talk to me about it. You know, so I have strange ideas. So they tease me. You know, so I just think differently. <laughs> so I have a different interest. Mm. So. You talk about ambitious. My my sibling is more ambitious than I was. My two brothers, mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and so they see me as so squandering around like you know, so mm -hmm. I don't I don't set the goals, you know. So and when I was young, and they were not happy about that. So but then I excelled in education, whatever. I work, you know, I work not that hard, but it's 
actually pretty hard to start, so. <laughs> but uh, get it promoted real fast. Mm -hmm. So, so I have track record make them think, oh yeah, he's you know this young lad. Finally, we got <laughs> so, mm -hmm. <laughs> no wasting life around. So. Mm -hmm. But still, in all that, we never have a heart to heart conversations. Mm -hmm. Means they'll pursue their own life and pursue my goal. That's 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 regime, you know, so mm. of a sibling relationship. Everybody have their the future, so right. they decide for your future. It's not we don't care as support each other. We we profoundly do that. So mm -hmm. yeah. We done it more excellent than most of the people in the world do. Mm. So but we don't dictate to each other, influence each other. Sure. Yeah. Is that making sense to you? Yeah, mm -hmm. so. <clears throat> So because I thought ultimately I was able to to do my own thinking in within my future. That was pretty ambitious ambitious work, I mean thought, <laughs> you know. Mm. Um then God sealed that off. Mm. So whether in the world before I became a believer or after I became a believer. But with God, what was God that's more difficult than thing as the world. Right. Why? Because Christianity had designed this wheel of serving God. Most had to do with what he do. You know, so is that making sense here? You know, so early days I remember some some story to me keep a long time to meditate on. Uh, this is there's a lot of people praying, you know, in heaven. This may be a, a old elaborate story. I don't remember the details of saying so. And then said somebody have a visitation in the throne. They said in the throne room. Then there was this grandma. <laughs> she don't know the Bible very well. She don't know. She, she don't disciple, she don't minister basically, you know, mm. so. But when she showed up, they're like, everything changed. The God be ready to answer her prayer, basically. Mm. So there's a millions of people pray for the same thing, and God will not move, and this grandma showed up. God suddenly they went and moves. <laughs> so that's a visitation, basically. I don't know. I, 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 I my dreamt had the situation. I don't know exactly. Uh, against the badge of the grandma, God really cared to answer the grandma's prayer, you know. Mm. So, but she is nobody. Nobody know her. Nobody care her about her. Nobody think she have a good relation with God. Mm. Turn out that she the one can make make a heavy move, you know. So make God move. So well, that's what's very shocking to me. I remember back to my own quarter, I said to God, like, God, I don't want to know anything, be anything. I don't want to have that kind of relation with you. I don't, know, I don't want to be known by the world, but I do want to be known by heaven. So that sounds very noble, but that's where my heart was, you know, so yeah. Hmm. Man, the songs uh, and the pressure that you hope you don't, you know. So, yeah. I think the key, Elijah, eventually learned there are many ways to walk with God, different levels. And um, all things belong to Christ, and I, so another thing turn to Christ, you have to know the Lord Himself. So, know the Lord Himself. Most time, I mean, some major education is not about what you do. It's about who you are. So. Mm. You know, so um, I think about the love of God. Mm. You know, the love of God is different. You love God, I love God. And the Bible said to know the love of God, mm. <laughs> how, have the power to know the love of God. Right. <laughs> Means mm. the power is not the supernatural power as we think it is. Mm. Paul was talking about the power is authorized power. Mm. Means some realm open up for you. Mm. Is that making sense here? So yeah. Right. Think about the speed. 
okay? You drive 10 miles per hour, use a bike, <laughs> it's, it's pretty good, you know, working so hard on it. Mm. So, then you got a bike, but more, but not more, electric bike, you know? So, sure. Well, that's pretty hard, you know, so mm. you can reach one. And most 15 miles so now it's <laughs> pretty dangerous already so. yeah <laughs> so you got a car <laughs> so that's a, you can reach 100 miles of power right mm-hmm. so you don't by the way you don't endanger yourself that much either so you don't have to face the wind then right somewhere yeah. <laughs> is that because you know so wear a sweater jacket you know? so, <laughs> so what's to say then you suddenly got a, a sports car. Like <laughs> mine, yeah. Is that right? No. Okay. Right, sure. No. So, <laughs> yeah. so you got a bully truck. <laughs> so mm-hmm. you got an airplane. So mm. you got a rocket. <laughs> My point is just traveling. Can you think about the light itself? Mm. Yeah. I'm saying so. Yeah. It don't depends on the normal means of transportation anymore. So mm-hmm. the excitement is not a, it's not about being the speed. The, the, the excitement is a being. Mm-hmm. You know, so the speed is not the pursuit. It's the being, you know. So. That's where philosophical can be now. So yeah. Mm. You you really don't care others know you or not. And um, it sounds terrible. So you what do you care about being known by God, you know? So right. that's what Paul <clears throat> said. You know, I want to know God as he has known me. Mm. To bring him as I'm bringing by him. So apprehension there is it's interesting. It's a brand. It's you. You know when we, when we try to get a, a criminal, you know, <laughs> the criminal is on wrong. Mm. You know, you're praying him. <laughs> so, right. So you get it combined together. You know, that's why that word word can with understanding, but also something. There is a, there's a your destiny. Your. Is in somebody else's hand. Mm. You become a, a prey. Mm-hmm. You know the prey means, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a it's the eagle you. remind you of the prey, you know. So, yeah. You're the rabbit. Yes, you're the prey. So yeah. So sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> kind of yeah. Yeah. So if God wanted to be a missionary or the Bible teacher, he will make it work. Yeah. Like how I mean. But I think even you're a Bible teacher or missionary, probably can do the job. You said, what I do the job? Should I prepare education, get the finances, go where the location <laughs> is? I think that, sh- that should be part of the deal for sure. But to do how much God you care. The presence of God, right? The knowledge of God, the goodness of God. So the person God you care, so, you know. If you have that, I think God can open all the doors. If you want to. <laughs> you know. But if we don't have God, you know, we can't. I mean I I I don't see it's bad or good. So yeah. You eventually come maturity is come to place it don't depends on your gifts. Right. Your use utility <clears throat> in the world to to chart the course in your life. It's it's God Himself take a hold of you to do the arrangements. You know, starting out to depend on your own strengths or abilities at all, but really Yeah. And look at Abraham's life. You know, Abraham's life for dull. A lot of winter for sure. So. but for the most part it's dull life, and right? So mm-hmm. So he's being a father, you know, mm. travel around, try to survive. <laughs> right. But it's not dull for him. For his relation with God, he always has his hope. So, mm. yeah. I'm not too philosophical, yes. So, yeah. So, you ask me, 
how you know the future. I think you should pursue in your season, your station of life with whatever God provision for you to do. To bring joy in doing it, you know, so making friends, learn Chinese, whatever. But the most important to get to know God, you know, so, yeah, yep. You know, the Bible says so, maturity to the, you know God fully, you know, so, Amen. Yeah, so mm. to know Him and uh, know Him as, a, as your Father, as your Lord, as your friend, you know, so, but eventually as your Master. Mm. Sounds terrible. <laughs> master is somebody's. Yeah, master, you don't do what you. You are praying, right? So, mm. in somebody's hands. So. But if you're doing somebody else's beating, you don't need to worry about it. Mm. Right. Because you're just. You're doing what they told you to do. Is that making sense here? Yeah, so. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, hmm. with that, I hope I don't drive you crazy. No. Is that what I should do? What no, do I, I mean, I asked the, the question, man. Yeah. Have you answered Actually, that? time is, is pray, learn God. So, hmm. fellowship in different ways with others. You know, those things seems, seems not, on the surface, not productive, not getting anywhere. It's just a matter of why you want to be a missionary. Go there to find the talk to people. Exactly, the fellowship with people, right? So they teach the Bible, they right. teach the law. So, <laughs> so I don't see anything lacking in your life to do that. You know, to furnish yourself to do think, better. Yeah. Yeah, and I think I've actually, even in small ways, been trying to do that. Even with take someone like uh, Liam, for instance, I've been trying to. Mm, you'd be very careful with those things. So yeah. Well. My point is that you want to invest in somebody that can give clear instruction what to do. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's many dogs out there. It's not there, but it's my dog. So people will say that, just go, you know, so no. Be very careful with who you invest in, in the spirit. Mm. Yeah. Doesn't matter who they are. You can understand in that level of investment is not up to us. It's not because of people have need. All people was always have the need if you make yourself available for their need. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, what a humanistic love, humanistic kindness is about. It's perceive somebody have a need that we volunteer for humanist helps. I highly against that. So yeah. I think that's where religion begins to really seek in and accept the strength of divine flow of life. So yeah. Does that make sense to you? So yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna talk to this any young people. <laughs> They're not gonna have the chance to talk to me, so <clears throat> why? No I'm not saying Leanne or not Leanne, that's not the point. The point is that you need to be mature in understanding divine relation with divine. Mm. Not decide by what we think or what the people around us think. And then hallelujah. Mm. I mean, for example, you're going to invest spiritually in somebody, you better start right. You said, that's, gonna, that's not important. I said, well, that's your formative year, your spiritual walk. Mm. So you start wrong, you'll be always wrong. You carry bitter example in your life. If you start right, you will be right. Mm. Is that making sense to you? So yeah. It's like a first job. You don't just say, "I'm my first job." Doesn't matter which job it is. <laughs> sure. Oh yeah. Be very careful with that. So the foolish question think it's not mattered. That's a foolish. I want everyone, especially when you're young, want to be a mentor or lead others, you make sure hundred percent, a thousand percent sure that way is a sent by God and you are sent by God to them. So how do we know that? You need to pray. Just don't volunteer because out there. I mean, why is a math thing, right? Ourself, right? 
the others waiting on God, the pray for God, pray hard for God. Who I can invest in? Who, how do I invest in it? You know, people, this is the words of religion begin to really sap God's people's strength. See that certain people have what exact God told them to do, but they allow the CPM, they allow the distracted, they're not investing in it. Then they blame God, not telling them what to do. God told them what to do. They don't do it. <laughs> the scanner was the wrong. That's means immature. Cannot be trusted. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is that making sense to you? So, yeah. God never told you, or even told you, you need to go through a pool, am I? So, you just go with what I feel, what I think. You know, so, you need to go through serious protocols with that. So, yeah. Let me see the power to you about that. Now, do you think Noah come to my life? Do you come to my life easy? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I know I'm going to have an impact over Noah's life. Long before Noah was three years old. <laughs> so, oh, I know. People in the world would say, how in the world you shouldn't know? I don't know. I mean, natural mind, I don't know. <laughs> Is that because it is? <laughs> but somehow it was there. You know, mm. so there was something there. So. That's a Sean Strange, you know, we have this, I have a friend, uh, Wes, you know, I was down in the ramp up here, so uh, there was a meeting going on, and he walked into the meeting in the middle of it, by the way, so mm. at that time, it's, I was pretty charged up in the spirit, <laughs> I saw him coming in the door, man, so, <laughs> and he was a tall guy, you know, mm -hmm. so, <clears throat> I look at him like, look at the face, you know, point at him, <laughs> you, who are you? <laughs> it was a, it was like a terrified <laughs> who it was to say, okay, I'm gonna have a roll in your life. Something they just <laughs> okay, <laughs> it was <laughs> it was like that. Huh? I was just like that. They're met him before, so <laughs> but God told me he's gonna be somebody. I, I have a roll in his life, hmm. <laughs> at the same time, there was a a wonderful sister, and they were treating me like a pastor, you know. <laughs> she was the assistant that they called a possible host in Austin those days. This, this, the husband was a was a PhD for for theology in UT, so they were pretty well established. At the same meeting, God put me on the ground, grabbed her feet. Begging her to turn back to God. I can feel her heart cold like a stone. Mm -hmm. The more I begging, pleading, moving the spirit, the more she turned cold at Dubers and, and unbelief, you know, so. Mm -hmm. The same person tried to follow me around those days like a pastor, you know, call me their pastor, so. And, and I see the heart like, becoming more and more cold like ice, you know. A stone, so stone frozen eyes, hardened, and then you found this gentleman. <laughs> uh, it's totally different response. Uh, yeah. Mm. So, conclude the mentor is. Uh, move God, am I? <laughs> That's a, I want to be that grandma, still, mm. you know, I want to learn the grandma's art, mm. <laughs> how she can move God, mm. move heaven, mm -hmm. mm. rather than knowing all kinds of stuff, doing all kinds of stuff, right. but God is not moved. We, we have so many busy bodies, spiritual busy bodies. We try to serve man's need rather than God's interest, mm -hmm. God's will. So we continue coming to the two, saying they are the same. Mm -hmm. We try to program God, you know, mm -hmm. tell God what to do all the time. So.
It's the same thing actually. You're missing the mark, basically. Right. What the son does, he never see anything the father did not even say. Do anything the father didn't want to do. That's a high display. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> we had to learn to do that. You know. So mm -hmm. yeah. Any other discipline is a, is only supplementary. The real discipline is to be one with the father, the son. So with that, you wrap it up. Mm. Go ahead. So when I'm talking to you, be careful with who you invest your spiritual be. That is not, uh, not not personal. Okay, so it's 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 like you want to plant a tree or garden. You better plant the right seed. So yeah. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. <clears throat> Lord, we bless your holy name, Father. Lord, I pray for your wisdom and guidance, Lord, in my life. But I do ask for uh, forgiveness for trying to be led by my own my own mind and my own understanding, Father. You should not ask for forgiveness. It's saying. You know, so it's growth process. So. Mm. I've been there many times. Mm. <laughs> Try to do something. Sounds good, looks good, but it's not the God. So, yeah, because I don't go through the process, the protocol, if you will. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah. To for me in my station of time, to invest in somebody is more important than me to which university I go to. Mm. That's, that sounds terrible to say, okay, so, yeah. Because why is it belong to God? Well, this is God's business. Mm -hmm. It's not my business. University is in my life. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, is that making sense to you? you know, God could quicken me. This one is not my, it's not, I, I cannot change it. Right. Is that making sense to you? you know, so I don't have a seed in it. Right. Yeah. Sorry. I hope you understand my point. Then that's uh, mm. yeah. Go ahead. Lord, I pray that I would learn the the proper the proper way to understand the leading of your spirit, Lord. Lord, and I just personally pray that I would build that relationship with you, Father, or that a true father son relationship, Lord. Mm. Lord, no longer led by my own my own wisdom or my own understanding Lord but Lord, the, the, the wisdom given by those you have placed in my life to, to lead me mm. Lord and the wisdom that comes directly from you Father mm. Lord, again I just pray that I would draw closer to you Lord and mm. that all things would be secondary to that mm. in my life no matter how big or small those things are mm -hmm. when i trust in you for my life and for my future lord and mm. uh, i thank you father for what you do mm. speak to me and reveal to me mm. and lord i pray for for understanding mm. and for a deeper faith in your ways and your plan father mm. bless your holy name Amen. Bless you, Elijah. Mm. So one of the things I want to talk to you, if I have counsel to you today, is in the future, be very careful who you invest in the spiritual life. Long term, okay? Not, you know, you can invest in any life you got, bring you to a place to speak to people, you know, teach people, whatever. So. Mm. But discipleship must be divine or then I think that's a mistake. Christianity is a discipleship program. So we must change that. So yeah, I definitely don't think I am in a place right now to don't. I don't think. Or mentorship, whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't matter. So yeah. and, and wanted to be led by God to do these things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not hit and miss all the time. So I I can be everybody's brother, everybody's teacher, but I will not be everybody. Thinking about I can mentor them or disciple them, you know, so yeah. Does that make sense to you? So mm -hmm. yeah. They can learn from me. I can teach them for sure. 
but that in general terms, what what means is when you mentor or decide something, that you are spiritually hold accountable. Yep. Okay, so it's like your dog. No, I'm not a terrible example. It's like your your cooking. <laughs> you know, anybody said, hey, you know, it's, you make your meal in your kitchen, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, you. You don't cook the wrong materials, the wrong recipe, right? right. So with the wrong occasion, I mean, you, that's that's your deal. So in a sense, God yeah. hold you accountable. So you Amen. know, so is that making sense to you? So yeah, so have a higher discipline on those things. Okay. Yeah. Amen. Don't let the popular Christianity tell you what to do. It's something we try to eradicate. Mm. I don't want to let the Christianity tell me. The public Christian they tell me what to do in this regard. Amen. I want to challenge it to the core. Shut that down. So hmm. yeah. From so from your generation, by the way. So yeah. Hmm. A former generation or not willing to do that. From your generation I hope it was set up a different course. So, Amen. Yeah. Well bless you, Lanzia. So hmm. thank you very much.